Hello everybody. Again, the topic is Outlook backup. Like uh, how to take a email backup into the local system. So there is a procedure called like uh, import export using the Outlook application. Like uh, I'll just explain you the scenario. Uh, assume that you have a mailbox where it has a 2GB limit. So once it reached uh, up to 2GB or once it uh, exceeded the 2GB, then uh, there will be a problem like you may not receive emails. Others may not be able to send an email because due to the mailbox full. So in order to avoid this kind of issues, so we can use Outlook application or Outlook client application uh, using this uh, export mailbox emails to a PST file. PST file is about uh, PST file is a single data file where it contains some mailbox emails, mailbox folders, mailbox emails and then it's called a personal storage table it's a single uh, data file where it contains everything so that is that's that is how uh, we can uh, export the emails into the pst file and then i'll show you how do we export the emails into the pst file let's begin and click start search for outlook uh, friends it's been already configured you can ignore this it's been already configured you can see the mailbox here assume that uh, it has a uh, it has a 2 gp or nothing else, uh, or else you can if you want to export a particular uh, important emails also you can export it but in this case i'm just uh, showing you how to export our emails I'll come again file open and export import and export these are the options okay so here we want to export to a file because as i said the pst file it contains a local storage table so personal storage table so pst file so it contains uh, everything so we'll have to select export to a file click next and here pst outlook data file okay next and select mailbox and uh, you must select include subfolders or else you can if you want to uh, ex uh, if you want to select ex only a sent items you can select or if you want to contact you can contact okay so in this case i'm uh, selecting complete mailbox and click next and then where you wanted to uh, save it you can save it here i'm saving into the documents outlook files i'm just giving a gk backup simply finish file name invalid okay. okay it is asking for the passwords so if you want to set a password for the pst files for example you have taken a backup and then somebody uh, taken this taken this uh, pst file and then they are uh, adding the pst file to their outlook and then they want to see the what are the mail that you have taken it so in that case in that case you will have to protect a password so this password protects your pst file also so without the password they cannot open the pst file which is backup for you and currently i'm not giving anything click ok it has only 28 emails so i think hope it is done let's go and see documents this is for backup okay pst file okay so once it exported you can delete all the emails okay i'm deleting it delete i have deleted emails okay right so i have deleted emails i have a backup i can input it again you can see same procedure open export import export to a file here we'll have to select import from another program file and then same pst next browse where it has been saved 
will have to go there select jk backup import data file and then where do you want to import here this is the id ok i have selected import into the same folder click next finish that's it it has been added so this is how we can export and import backups ok backup and then we can take a backup afterwards we can if you want to restore we can if you want to import it you can import it using this method hope you like this and how to i'll show you i have uh, i have shown you uh, how to export how to import as well so using this method you can export mailbox as a PST file the same PST file if you want to import you can import it and thank you guys that's it and uh, hope you like this video hope you are aware now how to export or how to import and please do subscribe my channel for